So YouTube today we're going to play a little bit of um, for four color white death shadow. I'm going to run this one through and see how we like it. I'm either going to play one of these five. We're through three out of the four. We're starting the third one. So now I'm pretty much indifferent on the. I thought my mana base was good. I liked having the forest, so I thought everything was fine there. Um, so I'm a little indifferent on those two lists there. I'll have to just talk to my friends and see what I think there. <coughs> just play Tribal Flames. <coughs> First deck I ever played in Modern was Tribal Zoo. I'm a little excited for this Claim to Fame out of this deck. I think that it's nice to, without the white source, without the blue cards, to have just another like Spike I Win card here. Like, if this is in the graveyard, then just, like, any creature off the top can win the game. And I have the Rampager in the main deck. I have more just, like, speed you up kind of ways to kill my opponent with this one. The Sneaky Pete. This guy's up, up there on the trophy board. So I'm going to keep this. This is going to get me Blood Crypt no matter what. Got a pretty good hand. A little slow. Can't cast term Terminate. Angel's Grace. We're playing against Adnaz, so... This is another match. This is a matchup right off the bat where if we had the blue cards, we would be favored by a mile. <clears throat> I still think I am pretty favored, but we'd be favored by a mile if we had the other ones. All right, so we got Unlife. I think this is a pretty easy Unlife because they need Unlife. Lets them is like the thing that slows me down. So I think we're gonna take this Unlife. Spoils is annoying. Spoils is going to get them what they want, but they're going to need to draw either another Angel's Grace or an Ad Nauseam. So I'm not going to play around what they can draw right now. This is the best card in their hand. It also makes my Tarmogoyf massive. Which sometimes you just got to make your Tarmogoyf massive. Okay, so they Sleight of Hand. So let's check out my top card here. They played Seacorn Coast. <coughs> Polluted Delta. We don't want that. So now we're going to get Overgrown Tomb. And get the Beef Boy down. So my best draws here would be like a Liliana, another Fetch Land, a Death Shadow. Okay, so we want to go Fetch Land and a Death Shadow. That's what we're looking to do. They put a card on top. Okay, that's nice. So let's get in there with our homeboy. <coughs> We're just gonna get all the gem colors. Get the big man in there. Okay, so they're just kind of spinning their wheels. Okay. Something kind of cool here. There's no instance in the graveyard. So my Tarmogoyf is a... Four five. <clears throat> Decay makes it a five six. Okay, gemstone mind, lotus bloom. Okay. If I decay this, if I abrupt if I terminate my death shadow right now. And I draw a street rake. My opponent has to use their Angel's Grace. <coughs> yeah, right. This is this. Am I crazy? Because if I, like, I'm putting them to one here. And if I find anything that pumps Tarmogoyf or deals damage to myself, and all of a sudden they got to use their Angel's Grace. And then they need two cards to combo off. Because, yeah. 
think this is like weird, but I also think it like is legitimately right to do. Tilt. I guess there's no sense in, <clears throat> so I guess there's no sense in me giving it haste because I can't kill my opponent. Can I play this shadow? I feel like I messed up there. I feel like there's a line where I could have won. Leaving that shadow in the graveyard, casting this. Aftermath would have still, it would have still taken something out of the graveyard, so it wouldn't have made it lethal. Because I needed a target for it. Okay. So I'm just going to hold up this Abrupt Decay in case they try to go off with like, <coughs> I don't know, something like a, I don't know, a another Unlife. Like if they go Spoils for Unlife here. For some reason. Pentad Prism, okay. Oh man, he just had it. But he might not have a kill. They didn't play a land this turn, so my opponent might not have a kill. Because he needs an untapped land in both guides, I guess, to lightning storm me. Did he play a land? Cast Pentad Prism. Yeah, it looks like they just cast the Pentad Prism. I wonder if I toss that. So I'm just going to watch that. If they play a land, then I'm just going to scoop. If they don't play a land, then I'm... Play a land. Okay. Yep, just wanted to make sure. <clears throat> okay. So here, I want my grudge. I want brutalities and surgicals. I don't want all of this removal. I don't think I need the battle rages. I actually can. I'll, I'll keep the battle rages in. Because battle rage inter interacts pretty faithfully with the double strike. Or pretty favorably, excuse me. Um, I don't think we need this claim fame. Yeah, we're going to go like this. And hopefully we dodge a ley line. Oh my god, this hand's so good. I'm going to keep it. <coughs> this hand's good through a ley line. So if my opponent ley lines me, and I find a land, and I still get my shadows into play. Okay. It's the wrong land, but it's a land. Tilt. They put a card on the bottom. Okay, so they drew the Maniac. So that's one of their win conditions. If they draw both win conditions and I discard them both, then I'm in pretty good shape. Angel's Grace. Come on. All right, that's at least something here. So that gives me Delirium, which is nice. So we know they're drawing one half of their win condition here. <coughs> All right, so we might as well just take the Lab Maniac. 
I guess I could have taken. If I draw surgical here, I get punished. Oh, I don't have to leer in. Alright. Um, I guess I should just escalate this to get delirium. Toss my Liliana, toss a, my Liliana in the graveyard, which kind of sucks, but it's going to make my shadow small, but Next turn I can traverse for a fetch land and still be down, but like I gotta get gotta get delirium somehow. This has been a very clunky game so far. It's been rough. It's been a pretty clunky draw. We had like a very explosive potential. But so we draw a fetch land, I'm gonna go traverse. Jeez, I'm crow. Alright, uh traverse. This is just gonna give me a fetch land. <clears throat> and I couldn't ditch a Death Shadow there because I needed the Liliana in there to get Delirium. Alright, well at least they're not doing anything. It's not going to take them a lot to kill me though. But it's also not going to take me a lot to kill them. Like if I draw, if I draw like Fetch Lands, Runner Runners, or something like that, then my Death Shadows become massive. If I traverse, I'm definitely just traversing. I'm not traversing for street rate. I'm just going to take three and put nine power on the board. And then they're, they're fresh on life triggers in two. Tilt. So we're dead to like an ad nauseum. We're dead to a whole lot of stuff here. Yeah, that just kills us. We can I guess we can draw an abrupt decay and abrupt decay this right now. And then we're just dead. Or we can draw a surgical to shuffle their graveyard. If he goes for it, I'll concede. <coughs> hmm. That's odd. He's just like not going for it. No, two. Oh, he can just take them off no matter what. Okay, yeah. We got. He got us. I'm not gonna make him do it here. That's a little frustrating. So traditionally, it's a that's that's what you get for if we're if we're not gonna play blue. That is what we sign up for. We're gonna occasionally have a hiccup and lose a game like that. And our opening hand had we drawn a fetch land, our opening hand was like gas. So you could say that I went, maybe it was a, maybe I should have mulliganed, but we had double Thoughtseize, double Shadow, double Street Wraith. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess the biggest question was, was that hand a mulligan? And I'm not exactly sure. So we can rattle off four in a row here. Have a good league. Was that hand a mulligan? I don't. The upside on that hand is we're going to break the doors. We're going to beat the doors off him if we hit a fetch land. We're going to ship this hand. We have the stopping ground. Sands marginal. We get to scry. Put on the bottom. We're gonna scry again with our bobble. Best draw is like a Tarmogoyf, I think. We're gonna go thought season the Tarmogoyf. That's what we're looking to do. No combo deck. Liliana. Yeah, we're gonna keep Liliana. It's just something. While Liliana is really underwhelming me, it's 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 still it's just better than a random draw, I think. I wish I had that back. We're playing against Living End. 
<clears throat> so this Liliana is just an edict and do nothing. Uh, I'm gonna psych, gonna fetch first. Black leaf cliffs. At least this black leaf cliffs puts a creature in my graveyard. Well, jeez, this has been gross. This is a gross matchup. I got the shriek mod too. So it kind of cuts off like Tarmogoy for me. <coughs> Might be a quick league here. Might be a quick league. Okay, Tomb Tapped is good for the home team. All right, I'm just gonna play this. So I guess actually Liliana's not bad because they're going, like it forces them to, if they're gonna put creatures in their graveyard, it forces them to not cycle it. I mean, like they can get this, I guess it's like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so just the guide. Like this is obviously not good, but it's, it's like, um, it's the best that I have access to. <clears throat> well, this is going to prompt something. So at least I can go edict, fetch a basic edict to get two out of three creatures in the graveyard out of here. Johnny would like me to play Blue Moon. Beast within my Liliana. Deal. I guess I'll just fetch a basic and start ticking up again. <clears throat> I don't really see a good way. I don't really see a good way to navigate this chat. We're a little damned if we do, damned if we don't. <coughs> yeah, I mean... We're just dead. Like, he's just violent outbursts, put a million power into play. Yeah, we're just, we're super dead. And like, the, the first Liliana was a Hail Mary. It was like, okay, maybe they won't draw a violent outburst and I can figure out a way. Tonight, probably around seven or eight. All right, so let's go with these. The anti-combo cards in. Um, get cut these pushes, cut a decay. I like having some removal because sometimes you can beat like a mini one. I keep the rampagers and the battle rages in. <clears throat> yeah, it probably will be seven or eight, Johnny. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna mulligan this. We're gonna keep this one, I guess. So we need a threat. We just gotta hope that we have a land on top of our deck after this Tarmogoyf. I'm gonna be pretty aggressive with this Gore Clan Rampager. Just get it in there so hopefully I can bring it back. Then maybe I can terminate my way through their creatures. So like, hopefully we draw a land, cast Tarmogoyf on two. We're gonna Rampager the Tarmogoyf on three. Okay, swing and a miss. The Fairy Macabre is a tilt. Macabre puts a kibosh on that plan. They cycle their Street Wraith. So I wish I had Future Sight Street Wraiths because sometimes <coughs> I get Street Wraith confused with Dotsies. And I've definitely kept hands that are like very bad 
because I thought my street wraith was a I thought my street wraith was a thought seize. Okay. Very macabre. Macabre. So I wish I had future side street rates. And it's also nice to like have future side street rates when you're playing the traverse deck because sometimes you can look through your deck and you can be like, oh, I want this card, you know? You're just gonna blow my land up here? Oh, it's holding your mage? Yeah. One draw step and then we're going to the next game. I have really not I have not been impressed with this white this white one for a while. Like I assume this four color white deck was very good when Death Shadow when the format first came out and was more fair. <laughs> but it's just probably not good enough now. And I'm actually I'm actually just good enough to move to the next deck, I think. You just like it's just gross. Like when you lose to ad nauseum and all these like I, I'm not playing Death Shadow to lose to these combo decks. So let's get back over here. 